Hello there and welcome to this video. This video is for task learning activity 2 of AO2 task <coughs> sorry AO2 task 1. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you a few things regards to conducting an advanced boolean search using a search engine. Now before we start I'm going to go and show you a little bit about what we call a boolean operator okay now there are three boolean operators i want to refer to these are listed here in front of you i'll just show you these three things here or and and not these are the three boolean operators now what a boolean operator is it's basically a a way of filtering your search okay using certain keywords filtering your search to get certain information back where you want to conduct an advanced search without going into the Google advanced search window you can use what is called a boolean operator now just to show you something um, bear me one second let me um, move this from the screen you can use this term or which shows when you're searching you're searching for any of some words at least one of the words or it should contain the words and then you can use end, okay, where you can type in, let's say, poverty and crime into a search, a search engine. And the search engine will search for all of the words that you've given, like poverty and crime. Or you can use not as an operator. And what that does, let's say you search for cats, not dogs, is it restricts your search. So, for instance, if you type in cats, not dogs, actually, your search will search for anything that has cats in it but anything that also has cats and dogs will be removed from it so you must use any of these three words to conduct your search or and or not don't worry if you still don't get what i'm trying to explain when i start doing it in the search engine you will see what i mean so i have a search term here i'm going to search for disneyland okay but remember there are two Disneyland's there is one actually I think there are three now there is one in California there is one in Paris and there is one in Florida so what I'm gonna do is I'll type in Disneyland not Florida okay now what I've done here is I have told my search engine that I want to search for anything related to Disneyland but if there is any website that has information about the Disneyland in Florida, I don't want to see it in my search term. Okay? Now, before I do that, let me just point this out again. Let me one second. Disneyland. Guys, this is my search term here. Okay? These are the keywords that I'm searching for. And these are hits or the search results and underneath I have all okay of the web pages that have the information that I'm searching for listed according to ranking or usefulness of information so remember you need to label your search term and your search hits in your screenshots but importantly I want you to make a note of the results because that will be very important I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do a boolean search now so I'll type in D Disneyland not um, Florida meaning I'm looking for information about Disneyland but I don't want anything about Florida in there okay so I have Disneyland not Florida okay now look at the search results that I've, I've got they've currently come back to 9.4 million okay now remember we are searching for images so I'm going to type in image click on images and here we have our images and all of these pictures here relate to the Disneyland in France because I've used Disneyland not Florida okay if I was to put in double click and put Disneyland and Florida let me one second let me just space this out Disneyland and Florida I would have got all the information with Disneyland and also the, this, the information with the Disneyland in Florida meaning I have not taken away the Florida from the Disneyland search okay so we have the Disneyland and Florida 
where I search for all information about Disneyland, including the one from Florida, or I do Disneyland not Florida, where I search for all information about Disneyland, but anything about Florida is taken out. Okay, so I'm focusing mainly on the and or not operators. Okay, and then once you search, I'm gonna go back to Disneyland not Florida. I want you to point this out in your screenshots. This here is the Boolean operator, okay, right here. This thing right here. This is the operator, not, that you've put in. Meaning you're searching for information about Disneyland, but you don't want anything to do with Florida, okay? And then I want you to go into the advanced search tools, and I want you to scroll down to where it says usage rights, click it, and select free to use, <clears throat> share or modify, and click on advanced search. And here we have our images that we can download. But before you do that, you need to go to the web page. Okay, so I'll just select one of these. I'll click on this web page and click on visit page. And there I have visited the page that I've filtered. Okay, now if I scroll down to the bottom of this page, just pay attention to this. Here, it says I am free to share to remix. It means that this is a, is a photograph that I can use without worrying about copyright. And I can use any information on this web page without worrying again about copyright. Okay, and that is the whole purpose of your search. Your advanced search using the Boolean operators to risk to, to, um, to filter the search and also to find an image that you can use without worrying about copyright. So please pay attention to this. Okay, I'm going to highlight it here for you. We searched using a search term, but in the search term, we put a Boolean operator. And I explained to you in the beginning, there are three Boolean operators and where you're searching for something and something else, or where you're searching for two things and the, compute, the search term can find all of them for you, or you can use not where you're trying to restrict your search and you don't want to find something in particular. And also this section here showing that you filtered your search and you're using for images that you can reuse and modify. Please remember, this is what you need to do for the distinction task. You need to search using a Boolean search, using the three Boolean operators, and, or, and not. And you also need to search for images that you can reuse or modify. That is what you need to do. Now, please go and do it. Remember, screenshots, step by step, with explanations. Remember the Boolean operators, and, or, and not. Yeah? Thank you.